everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Simona and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly clean your phone case. Now I did a deep cleaning on my phone case. This is not something that you have to do exactly. I don't know if this works for anybody else's deco done phone cases but this is something that's going to work if you have purchased from me in the past or if you're interested in purchasing from me in the future. So I'm going to be using some supplies that you can probably find at home or easily get at the store. One of them is hydrogen peroxide and the other one is q-tips. Now if you just want to do a light cleaning if you just want to uh, do a little bit of detail work on your phone case you can dip that q-tip and clean the little crevices as I do later on but I actually do dip the entire thing in hydrogen peroxide. What ended up happening to mine and this might not happen to yours is the entire face of the silicone came off and I was able to do a deep clean on the case as well as replace the lace trim on the sides. So that might or might not happen to yours. I can't promise anything but this was just an easy way for me to actually uh, clean this baby out, keep it nice and sanitized. It's super important to keep things nice and clean, especially your phone, which is something you touch every day when you go out and you come back home. So it's very important for you guys to know how to clean your phone case if you need to. So that's what we're gonna be going over. But I also wanted to announce that I am actually doing a giveaway. I recently reached 10,000 followers on TikTok and I know YouTube has nothing to do with TikTok, but I wanted to talk about it here because one, TikTok only limits you for one minute to talk about it. So I'm probably gonna be doing a post on TikTok talking about the giveaway, but I want there to be a nice splayed out just explanation as how it's going to work. Two, I could be doing a live on TikTok, but that terrifies me. And three, I really want to exclude people who really aren't fans of my work or, you know, like, I, I want this to be for the followers. I want this to be for you guys. So I want to keep out as much as possible anybody who, you know, is just in it to get free stuff. Uh, <laughs> so what would you be winning in the giveaway is a customized phone case for whatever device you have uh, with whatever characters, whatever colors you want. I'm gonna let whoever the winner is choose whatever it is they want. And you're also going to be winning a pair of earrings. And if you cannot wear earrings, I completely understand. I also have clip-on options as well. So uh, whoever the winner is, they get to choose a phone case and some earrings. Uh, I'm also gonna be throwing a couple of, you know, pins and little uh, surprises in there as well for whoever the winner is. So how to enter. I am going to be posting on TikTok on June 15th. I'm going to be posting a post that is specifically to enter. And what I'm going to ask my followers to do is obviously be following me on TikTok and to like the post and to leave a comment on that post. And I will uh, randomly choose somebody from everybody that enters and you can only enter once right you can leave as many comments as you want but you will only be entered once so i will go through i will randomly number generate you know and i will choose a winner and i will dm that winner through tiktok so uh if you're interested in entering please just keep an eye out i will be posting on june 15th 2020 that is a monday so june 15th monday i will be posting and that will be the post to enter the giveaway i'm probably going to post a little before that on tiktok just to let other you know followers know in case they haven't seen this video uh, but that will be it so without further ado i will now show you how i cleaned my lovely phone case and how you could do it too okay so this is what the phone case looked like before this is when I had just first made it, so it looked nice and fresh and beautiful. You're gonna see uh, what it looked like right before I cleaned it. So, uh, not too bad. It didn't get really gross. I did rip off a little bit of the lacing. This was the first time I did lacing in a phone case. I am my own guinea pig, so I <laughs> was testing it out and I did not like how this came out, but I've had it for a couple months. And uh, so it's not visibly like too, too dirty, but I did wanna do you know, just a little cleanup and see if I could replace the lacing or if anything, you know, really, really looked 
really nasty. I was gonna take it off completely. So uh, as you can see, these foam cases, they naturally get a little gross just because it's that TPU, you know, plastic. Uh, it kind of browns over time. It's not dirt. It's not anything from your hands. It's literally over time, this type of plastic just browns. Uh, it's just the nature of it. So I'm going to be using some hydrogen peroxide, 3%. I, uh, I might try it later with a higher percentage, but for now, since this is something that most people would probably have in their home, uh, I'm using this stuff. So I used a nice glass dish and I put my phone facing up and I filled it up with hydrogen peroxide right to where the decoden, the icing, the whip, as I call it, uh, right where it starts at the bottom. I do not want any liquid to touch my two pins, my two button pins, because those guys are made with metal and paper. And if any liquid seeps inside of them, it's going to ruin the drawing, it's going to make it all inky and goopy, and the metal might, uh, you know, get all rusted. So now I'm using a Q-tip to just dip into the hydrogen peroxide and just touch up any parts of the silicone that uh, might have a little dust in there. Uh, again, this phone case was not super duper visibly dirty, uh, but I just wanted to show you how to easily clean if you, you know, for example, get some coffee on your phone case, which has happened to me before. <laughs> um, I do work a lot with paint and uh, I, I used to be an art teacher, so I had a lot of uh, messy hands. <laughs> Uh, but thankfully this phone case just wasn't super duper dirty. You can clean the surface of the button pins as you see here because it is a plastic coating right on top. Uh, but you know, maybe to sanitize it a little bit, it's just a good idea to use hydrogen peroxide. It's not going to remove any of the alcohol inks. It's not going to mess up uh, any of the little charms or anything. So it's nice and safe. Uh, if you get it on your hands, it's completely safe. As you can see, I'm not wearing any gloves. If this was a higher percentage of hyper hydrogen peroxide, I would say, yes, wear some gloves. Uh, but 3%, you know, this is the stuff that you use to clean up wounds. Um, it's not super bad. So once I was done with the Q-tips, I just let this guy sit in the hydrogen peroxide for like a couple hours. I want to say like two hours. Uh, and as you can see, the hydrogen peroxide sort of bubbles up um, you know, that's what it does when it starts cleaning stuff, so I knew that it was, uh, doing its job, you know. Uh, again, I did not let the hydrogen peroxide go above the silicone, and here I am removing it from the hydrogen peroxide very carefully, and I just placed it on a dry towel and let it air dry for a couple more hours. So this is it once it was dried. As you can see, I'm showing you here how the plastic phone case, it didn't really lighten up or anything. I wasn't expecting it to, but I was just trying it out. Uh, so thankfully, I was able to actually remove all of the silicone in one piece. I wasn't planning on this happening, um, but it did, and that was completely fine. So what I decided to do is I removed just the top of the pop socket, which is super easy to remove. Uh, you just kind of like squeeze the, the plastic, the rubber part. And then I removed my silicone all in one piece. And as you can see, the lace job was just terrible. <laughs> so I removed it. Uh, I just, you know, peeled it off and I just glued a new type of lace in and I glued my silicone back on with some super glue. So while I've been editing this, I noticed that the silicone used to be much darker than it is now. It has nothing to do with the cleaning process. As you can see, if you go back into this video, the silicone was already pretty light before I started, but you know, stuff that happens, things age. All right, so as you can see, I redid my phone case. I didn't redo the silicone, only cleaned it, added some frills, added some drips, made it just look alive again. And uh, I'm really happy with the results. I mean, I made this phone case back in November 2019 and we are in June 2020. So that is a nice chunk of time to have a phone case and uh, have it be intact. Now, as always, my hot tip for keeping your Deco Den case 
uh, intact and happy and clean is hydro peroxide, some Q-tips, and super glue. Super glue is very important. Now it has to be the crazy glue type stuff. It has to be the stuff that like literally turns into plastic. Like if, if you have ever gotten super glue stuck in your fingers and it like immediately gets like kind of dusty and hard, that's the type of stuff you want. You don't want the stuff that just like stays soft and not Elmer's glue. I know Gorilla Glue has some stuff that they call super glue, but it's not really. You want this stuff. You want the stuff that is like gonna work. Again, if you are interested in uh, joining the giveaway for my 10,000 followers on TikTok, please keep an eye out on June 15th. I'm going to be posting a post and that post uh, I'm just asking my followers to be following as well as to like the post and leave a comment. So uh, if you have any questions about that, please feel free to message me. And as always, if you are interested in ordering the phone case, you can do so through my Etsy shop. The phone cases start at $40. I do make them for iPods, I make them for iPads, I make them for Nintendo Switch, and the price varies on those larger uh, devices. But more than anything, if you want a pop socket like I do on my phone or like many others have on theirs, that is a little extra. And you can have for any device, that means iPhone, Samsung, Motorola, LG, Huawei, whatever it is that you have, I can make it for you. And whatever theme you want, whatever color, whatever characters, whatever, whatever. <laughs> uh, I cannot stress that enough. I also have my fabulous earrings on my Etsy shop. These are lovely D12 earrings. Got that there, matches my outfit. Um, I have D20s, I have D10s, D8s, all types of nerdy, nice uh, dice earrings. And as always, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, uh, comment below if you are excited for the giveaway and what it is that you would want your phone case to look like if you were to win the giveaway. Also, what, what earrings would you like? I'm doing this not just to interact with you guys, but also to keep in mind like what people are probably gonna ask for so that I can already get my hands on it, already have something planned out. So um, make sure to follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok for more information, for more videos, for more posts and to see what I've made for recent customers. Maybe I'll give you an idea on what you would like. So without further ado, I hope everybody is being safe and healthy and taking this time to get some nice social justice reading going on. If you would like some more information on the Black Lives Matter movement, I have a link on my link tree. It's the first link at the top. It has some lovely information, uh, information on, on speaking points, videos, and some petitions to sign. Uh, I am not the most educated person on the subject, but there are a lot of people out there who are. So it is our res responsibility to do some reading, educating, listening. All right? So I hope everybody has a great day and week, and I hope to see everybody on June 15th. And maybe you'll win something. I mean, who doesn't want, like, you know, everything they want on a focus? Bye! <laughs>